if you were going to have your own range, uh, what would you call it? And I said, oh, I'd just call it slap. <laughs> Hello, my name is Val Garland, and this is my makeup bag. It's called Val Slap, and it's by Anya Heimart. I've said there's two compartments to my makeup bag. And when I'm doing my makeup, um, I always, I sort of like cleanse, moisturize, um, but then I always do my eyebrows first. I don't know why. I guess it's starting at the top and working down. So for my eyebrows, I use a Dior pencil, which was recommended to me by none other than the Brazilian model, Giselle. And it's just the most perfect, sort of like taupey blonde um, colour. It's perfect for people who have white eyebrows like I do. And then after that, I'll do my eyeliner and I use a L'Oreal pencil. I use, actually I've got kind of like two or three. I do my eyeliner and here we are. Depending on what sort of day I'm having, it will be, it's a L'Oreal liner. Uh, this is called Effect Slim. I think, as a consumer, to put on an eyeliner with a felt tip pen is the easiest way to get a liner on. Then it's lashings and lashings and lashings of mascara. My absolute favourite at the moment is also a L'Oreal mascara. And what I like about this is what I would call chunky monkey. It's um, a really sort of, you put it on, um, it kind of like curls your lashes, lengthens your lashes. It's got this really cool sort of like brush, which is not working there. No, no, it goes like that. So it's like that and like that. And what I like about this is I can really get in right into the corners and the outer corners. And that's a trick that we do backstage with um, mascara wands. We call them spoolie wands. We always bend the wand so that we can get into the inner corners and the outer corners more easily. And then I'll go back to straight for the underneath. I'll probably do two or three applications of mascara because I like my lashes looking like they are, like they've been on for two days. I am all about a glowy skin and I like to look a bit bronzed. So first of all, I will come in with Charlotte Tilbury's foundation. This is her um, glow lotion. It's Wonder Glow. And I usually put this on first um, because it just makes my, I don't really like base. I don't like foundation, but I think this just makes everything look a bit rounded. Well done, Charlotte, that's amazing. And then um, if I do want a more heavier coverage, I'll probably go into Fresh Wear from L'Oreal. Um, that's if I'm doing TV, but OMG, this is the most exciting product ever made. I love this, it's Chanel, it's a bronzer. Um, you just get a big fluffy brush, whoosh that all around and all of a sudden you look like you've just come back from Ibiza. Um, I love this product, it works on everybody. It's a must in my makeup bag. Um, then I will probably do a little bit of concealer. At the present, I'm using a pure concealer. Um, you know, I'm a lady of a certain age, so um, I do have some age spots. So I'll, I'll usually just pop this on where I think I've got like a little bit of discoloration, blend that in with a fluffy brush. That's about all I do. If I need a stronger concealer, then I'll use a Laura Mercier. I like that. If I'm doing nothing, then I'm doing Lana Lips. We can tell that I love that product because it's almost empty. It's an Australian product. But invariably, if I'm gonna wear lipstick, you're gonna see me in red. I love a red lipstick. And then I've got my old time favorite, which is, this is 347 from L'Oreal. It's just a really, blue-based, creamy red. That works really well on my skin color. This is the new one from Isabel Morant. Um, can't really read what it's called, 
but again, it's another red. You can't go wrong with a red lipstick. If, you've, if you're wearing nothing else on your skin but a red lipstick, you're ready. Takes me about 15 minutes. I usually do it at the kitchen table. I face the natural light. I always have a magnifying mirror and a Q-tip from Muji. Um, and that's about it, really. My earliest <coughs> beauty memory, memory is probably from my sister who had terrible, oh, she's gonna hate me saying this, but she had, she had sort of, yeah, she had terrible acne when she was like 12 and 13. So she used to put on loads of makeup and her um, base of choice was Revlon's Toasty Beige. And it went on to, and it, I think, and she wore that, I think, because it was my mother's um, favorite base as well. And I think in those days, which would have been the 60s, it was really important to look like you had a tan. Because, you know, going on a holiday was kind of like, that was a luxury. And so if you looked like you'd been on holiday, uh, there was another product that was very big at that time as well that my sister and my mother were using, and that was Guerlain Taint, Taint Dior. And it was kind of, it was like tea. It was the consistency of tea. And you put it on with a cotton wool ball, and you put it all over your face, all over your legs, and suddenly you were the colour of tea. I think we've all had disasters at work. Um, I think my one lesson that I've learned in all my years as being a makeup artist is read the instructions. Make sure you read the instructions. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I remember the Alexander McQueen show where Shalom got fired at by robots with paint. We didn't know whether the robots, um, whether the paint thing was going to work. We hadn't, you know, it hadn't been tried out in rehearsal. So, you know, um, it was a very kind of like, will it work, will it work, will it work? And just seeing Shalom Harlow twirling around and the paint just cascading down this dress. I mean, I think, every one of us that was backstage was crying and um, I'll never forget that moment. If I was on a budget and um, uh, I needed a hair conditioner and um, a body lotion and this is what I do do on holiday, I buy coconut oil and I'm putting that on my hair and I'm putting that on my body, you know, after I've been in the sun, it's amazing. And, oh, and I can cook with it as well. I am obsessed with skincare, um, and I think that's where I spend most of my money. Glam Glow, this is a great mask. I love anything Japanese, or anything Korean, anything Asian. This is Decorte Obsessed. Um, I just love the way this is, the way it is to touch. It's like jelly um, when you put it on. It, their products are astonishing. I can't be without my decorte. Oh, my look's completely changed. Um, I think now I kind of look like a lady who lunches, um, whereas in my early years um, I looked quite scary, I think, because I was a hairdresser and I had every colour under the sun and I used to shave my head. I was, you know, very much into the new romantic scene so, you know, loved having yellow hair or blue hair. Um, I used to paint pictures on my face. So I probably spent most of my time looking a mess, but um, I don't know, I, I just loved experimenting. And I think it wasn't until, it wasn't until much later that um, I decided that, you know, I didn't need to look quite so freaky anymore. I think beauties, whatever you want it to be, Beauty to me is what makes me feel confident. You know, I think if you feel confident, then you can pull off any look. You know, you've just got to own it and, you know, believe it.